Greetings, my fellow travelers. I'm currently on board the George Lucas Lide 2, my C-Class Superstar Destroyer, which, ironically enough, a lot of people didn't like getting the coordinates. Don't know why. Anyway, I finally got one of these things hooked up. And normally I go 90 degrees through, but the arrival room is kind of small, so in and out, rotate, and yes, it's a landing pad. Oh my goodness, there's another one. All right, so. So the first one is over the command and control section for the uh, frigate expeditions. The one here would be uh, further down, which is probably the mass refiners radar dish, because you have to have a radar dish. And the irony is that one is also wire glitched because if you tried to put it down, it would put down here as opposed to here. Wish you could eliminate the little guardrail. It is, after all, not necessary. And a, a few things uh, getting ready to be picked up or shipped out. Oh, that's an ocean. Put a appearance modifier down as a industrial grade uh, transporter. But that is very interesting. Probably somewhere around here. Have to give it some thought. Now, I, I really wish wire glitching wasn't <laughs> so dependent on reflexes because, hey, I am my age. Things do slow down a bit. And, uh, First pad, which was actually, right now it's halfway down the um, section, for lack of a better word, uh, you know, one of these. Uh, it was on the line separating two of them, and it sort of overpassed a little bit, the edge. Uh, it would have looked great except it was ever so slightly out of line and I was trying to put another one where this box is and it was also slightly out of line but in the opposite direction not sure why and at that point I kind of realized they were overshooting the edge um, and to avoid the oh they're not parallel to the top it was easier to put something else than a landing pad so the original thought was two landing pads here, and that was going to be it, type thing. I do have I do believe around here is a cargo room. So a door, another landing pad here would make sense. Replicating what's on the other side. All right, so yes. Uh, oh, yes, that's how it worked out. It was, uh, you know, one here, then three more across, three this way. But, well, I haven't had breakfast yet, so good enough for now. Plenty of room for improvement. And, of course, the more I do this, the more practice. Because uh, I was trying to put a few of these sections together on uh, the settlement. And 
they, of course, when your wire is glitching, they don't want to snap into place. If you try to snap into place, they, they won't materialize because they're their own part for the environment. Go figure. Because literally when I was trying to put the uh, two side by side, um, the first re reaction is it wanted to create a little bridge between them, but of course it wouldn't wire glitch under those circumstances as far as I can figure it out. Could be wrong. Um, in which case, yes, it'd be totally awesome. Let's just do a, a row of them right here. And the, the fun thing about these guys is they're one part. I actually made a cube out of them one time. Yes, there's a couple of gaps that are filled by smaller cubes, uh, but literally one cube, if you're gonna make them out of, you know, just cube walls, relatively expensive, especially with the limit on how many, you know, parts you can use. Or I could just get rid of the uh, sass altogether. Leave it at that. Put the, uh... Yeah, I can't say I'm entirely crazy about this arrangement. Uh, falls under the heading of a learning experience. Very gently, very gently. Hmm. Do I leave it there? Okay, well, I think that answered that question. Now, of course, the embarrassing thing is, how the heck do I get inside? Yeah, didn't think that went through, did I?
Oh, seriously? Well, I suppose I could just wire glitch it. It's kind of weird. All right, so the next size is wire glitching. I wish the, the, the rooms wouldn't be on different levels. It's very annoying. Or if you're going to have rooms on different levels and have two sets of rooms, thank you very much. I'm going to give it one try to get the uh, appearance modifier in. And, well, they don't work. Okay. I'm going to go have some breakfast and stop recording here. Those immortal words, I wish you a fond farewell, my fellow friends.